everybody! My name is Peter Klapper from the School of Biosciences at the University of Kent and in this video clip I want to show you how to do a box and whisker plot. Uh, this is a very common standard statistical tool to visualize some data and it's very useful. Uh, unfortunately Excel uh, doesn't uh, do it the easy way, so I will use an online resource for this purpose. So let's do a nice box and whisker plot. Uh, here are some data and I've counted the bacterial connollys on an agar plate and these are the numbers that I got. So I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plates and I counted the numbers and now I would like to represent this data in such a box and whisker plot. Now I use the box and whisker plot online utility at uh, www.alcula.com calculators statistics box plot and here is the QR code just in case you want to scan that in. So how does this uh, work? Now let's go to this uh, link and just simply copy paste the data from our colony count uh, into this. So here are our data in there and all I need to do is press the submit uh, data button and uh, wait a couple of seconds and I get my nice box plot. So with some data here, so population size 7, indeed I counted 7 uh, plates, so that's a very good sign that this population is the same as the number of plates that I had. The median of this is 167 colonies per uh, plate. This is not the mean, so be careful, it is the median and so this is represented by this line here. We get the uh, minimum number, so that's 110, that is represented by this bar here. And we get the maximum number, 220. We get the first quartile, this is uh, this number here, first quartile 125, second quartile is the median and the final or the third quartile is 201, that's this number here. And it also tells us that there are no outliers and it tells us the interquartile range. This is the third quartile minus the first quartile. So it is um, the third quartile 201 minus the first quartile 125, so that is this area here is the interquartile range in which 50% of the data are located. So I hope this makes sense and uh, you can do these box plots uh, without any problems.